all right in this video uh, we will discuss uh, a bit complex uh, models in code first using entity framework so currently we have a situation in which we have a, a, a product model and in product we have id name price quantity and brand so like this so we have a brand as a string over here uh, but what about uh, brand has some more features such as it has an address, it has a country, it has a phone number, it has a city and um, it has some uh, extra fe features. So that would be a bit redundant. Let's say for example we have a Dell and then we have again we have a, uh, some data uh, about Dell. So data would be redundant. So for this we need to normalize this uh, situation and then we need to have a separate entity that is for the brands and then we need to have a foreign key let's say brand id or bid or something like this and we will be having ids from uh, the, that brand table let's say for example in case of dell in case of dell we will be having on these ids so how do we uh, create this uh, uh, complex models using code first with the help of entity framework so first of all we need to have uh, an extra entity which is another model for brand so in this case again we will have uh, its own uh, key which is a primary key in the database let's say for example id and then we will have let's say for example string name and we can have let's say for example string country and before that we can have string address all right we can have some data annotations let's say for example display uh, name is let's say for example brand name and uh, we can have an address we can keep it like this we can have a country something like this right so we need to uh, do the scaffolding for this brand and do the migration so that we can have a brand entity in our database like this we need to have this entity in our database and we need to have uh, its uh, views so that we can add brand we can remove brand we can have uh, something like this right so we will just build this and then add scaffolding item so build started and succeeded add the scaffolding item this time we will be using our model which is brand so brands controller would be added so you can see that all the brand crude operations all the views has been generated and also uh, this controller has been generated to handle all the requests and all the DB operations. So I am trying to run this and definitely it will have an issue because we need to do migrations. So So we did not do migrations, so let's do the migrations. So add migration and the name is brand entity added. And update database. So you can see that in the migrations uh, it is saying that it's uh, something is going up 
and uh, nothing is going down for now it's uh, adding this uh, field and also adding this id over there so it's done so let's run this slash brands oops in uppercase b So now we will be able to add brand name, address in the country. Let's say for example, we add uh, and we say that I don't know where is, where is it from. Let's say Texas, USA. Create. And add another one. Let's say Panasonic. Some address country is Japan and uh, that's all how we manage brands over here and we have a products so in products we have a brand name which has no connection uh, with uh, actually brands entity uh, these entities are separate right now uh, there is no relationship between them right To do this, we have a uh, quite easy way in uh, code first uh, using entity framework, which is that uh, I'm going to create a foreign key and I don't need to specify any data annotation. So I will use brand ID over here and I will put a reference uh, with, the, with, the, with the brand uh, model, which is a brand, let's uh, call it uh, maybe brand obj that's it so this brand id is actually uh, the brand which will be uh, used uh, as a as a foreign key so entity framework will automatically assess that this brand id would be inside this brand object or uh, this brand uh, model and it will assume that this id would be the primary key and it will create a foreign key relationship right so this thing will be done automatically using entity framework so if i use any other uh, name as a as a foreign key then i need to specify this is a foreign key and uh, i also need to give a reference so if i use the naming conventions uh, same as uh, another uh, field and same as uh, I will need to specify uh, an object reference sometimes uh, uh, some developers uh, put this as a virtual object and I guess you don't need to do that uh, this will create a relationship between uh, this product uh, model and this brand model right so this is something that we want to achieve that we want to get this uh, ID over here and this all will be managed and you will also see some more amazing things that you don't need to specify the IDs when we are entering a record inside this uh, product when we are doing insertion let's say we will be having brands in a drop down menu that would be retrieved automatically from the branch table so let's build this so now the question is that do we need to do a scaffolding yes we need to do the scaffolding we need to re-scaffold because we have modified this product and definitely the views would be modified accordingly right so we need to re-scaffold uh, products uh, controller and also we need to migrate our database so re-scaffold product and I'm actually overwriting and also I need to add migration and I need to say that product and brand relationship has been established and I need to update database
So we have an error over a foreign, foreign key constraint when ID conflict occurs in the database uh, because we have uh, an ID over here. So let's go and see what is the conflict. So we have a brand, we have a quantity over here. So this brand should be removed over from here. Uh, so it has a conflict with this. So uh, the easiest way is just we just we just remove uh, all the migrations. We remove uh, the database. Uh, that is the easiest thing. Or I can go and the drop this field. I can go and. Uh, open table definition so I will actually delete this brand I will update this database so no I need to do the migrations so let's do the migrations and we need to update database so again we have a conflict with the database so I will do one more attempt to add migrations brand and uh, product relationship we have a pending migration so the easiest thing is as I just go and delete the migrations all right so I will also delete this and I just uh, build this and I run this and I go and see the products So we have a brand name, we have a product name, price and so on and similarly if I go and see the brands so we have brands so let's add some brands let's call them Dell and some address and oops, USA oops add it USA and add Panasonic, some address, Japan. And I will go to the products. I will create new product. So you see we have a drop down over here, although it's saying the brand ID. It should not say brand ID over here. So product name is laptop, price is something, quantity is something and the brand is so we are getting these brands from the uh, from the brand from the brand brands table right so create this and add another thing let's say for example we have um, blender the price is this quantity is 200 and Panasonic create similarly if we are going to edit this we are getting this in a drop down so let's say for example display from the brand this is actually the brand let's say for example that's the brand we have to do something we don't need to do something with the database because it has to do with the view only so I will add uh, products
so edit this so we have a, again we have a brand id so i need to go and see the view so create new we have a brand id that's how we do so we can just uh, leave it as it is uh, we can change this menu so that we can easily manage our uh, brands so we go and share layout and i'm going to modify this and we don't need home about and contact for now let's say for example i am going to comment this sorry comment these lines and i will add action links to the manage products so the index of products similarly i will manage brand index and manage brands so we have managed products and we have managed brands in this view we are going to manage brands and we have we can manage products we can go and see the database over here and uh, let's refresh this and uh, we have tables and we have brands and we have a products so if we go and see the table definition for the products we can see a foreign key relationship over here which is automatically added uh, using an entity framework and if we see the data of this products so we have brand id over here which is automatically managed so that's how we can create uh, a bit uh, complex models in which we can create relationship there are some more things that you can do uh, with this uh, code first uh, complex models uh, we might discuss this uh, later on adding some more things actually we can do some more things let's say for example we can have uh, orders and in orders we have uh, uh, product we have uh, through product we see brand and uh, uh, in order we have a product we have a quantity we have a price like uh, total total price of that order we can also have customers that which customer has placed this order we can also have uh, reviews on these products and we can make a relationship that this review is made by um by a specific customer which mean we have a man, we can have a many to many relationship in which we have uh, uh, one product that can be rated or reviewed by many customers so we can have a center table in which we can have a product reviews we can have uh, many products and we can have a uh, many customers and uh, for each product and for each customer we have uh, reviews for uh, those uh, uh, products by those customers similarly for orders we can have a many to many relationship in which one product can be ordered by many customers and even a single product can be ordered by uh, by by a customer many times so we can have uh, more complex models and we will discuss that uh, uh, later on if we get time but before uh, going towards that i would uh, prefer to discuss uh, uh, database first development approach 